Hi, I'm Fergus Urquhart. I'm the CEO of the City Entertainment, and I want to welcome you to the first in a series of behind the scene features for Neverwinter 2 that you'll be seeing over the next couple months. Here at Deep City, and we were really excited to get the opportunity to make Neverwinter Nights 2. How we approached thinking about the game was to figure out how we could really evolve it from it being Neverwinter Nights 1 into Neverwinter Nights 2. When we were first looking at it, we didn't want to change it entirely. Because Neverwinter 1 was a great game, it really provided a lot of different things for people. It made a great single player game, a great multiplayer game, and a great, had a great tool set for people to you know, create great D&D adventures. So that's what we've done. We've completely programmed it from scratch, and we've added a ton of things in that uh, the fans of the original product have wanted. Uh, and we're really excited to see what people are going to be able to make out of it. The character creation process can come from basically two sources. Uh, we have to get our, our concepts, if we create them, approved by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, another route would be just taking the information and reference material that we have uh, from the D&D manuals and building straight from that. And then that's taken to the animators after it's rigged, basically skinned up so that the bones can move the mesh. Uh, the animations are created, then it's placed into the game. Creatures that are included in Neverwinter Nights are uh, Baylor with his flaming whip and flaming sword. Uh, we also have the ghoul and the ghast. Uh, we have uh, two dragons this time. We have a red dragon and a green dragon. And the uh, very like standard fair D&D characters such as uh, the Mind Flayer and you know zombies and skeletons and so on and so forth. We're particularly proud of uh, the red dragon. It's an excellent showcase of all the technology that the, the, the game engine can provide for, for us as far as end users as well. Uh, the Red Dragon was just a huge undertaking. The, the actual high-res model was so dense we had to divide it into multiple parts in order to, to, to render it out so that we could use it in-game. It was definitely a labor of love and uh, we put it on screen with the, the best technology that we possibly could. I think the Red Dragon is probably the most impressive character that we have in the game. When we started examining uh, how to implement the 3.5 rules in Neverwinter Nights 2, we had to look at the implementation of the 3.0 rules. We had to see what was the best fit given the campaign that we were creating and also what was going to be best for the modding community, uh, which is of course a big part of the, the Neverwinter Nights uh, experience. Uh, sub races are very popular in the pen and paper D&D games. So uh, we wanted to see if we could implement a lot of that stuff in Neverwinter Nights 2. Uh, Drow are obviously the first thing that people think of when they think of sub-races. Very popular, you know, they got a lot of cool special abilities. Also things like the Duergar, the, uh, uh, the Deep Gnomes, uh, Azimar, Tieflings, which are, you know, the, the outer planar sort of human variants. Uh, those things, not only do they give cool cosmetic variations, which are present in the game, but also they give a lot of uh, nice little gameplay adjustments. So, Characters can get special abilities, uh, different bonuses to their ability scores. Modders will also be able to take advantage of the different appearances that we made for those characters, so it'll make things a lot easier for them as well. I think that people will be very happy with the number of new prestige classes and also with the variety of new prestige classes in Neverwinter 2. You know, it's not just the addition of, of characters like the Arcane Trickster, but also like the core Neverwinter 9 character. Uh, it's very well integrated to the story. Um, we try to cover a lot of different bases so that our new additions uh, complement the old ones very well. Uh, for the most part, the combat in Neverwinter Nights 2 is very similar to the combat in Neverwinter Nights 1. Things like attacks for opportunity, um, all the basic uh, combat feats like uh, you know, power attack. We'll also find a lot of new um, uh, combat feats to play with and a lot of new directions they can take their characters in with the new uh, prestige classes and so on. They'll also find that combat feels a lot tighter and sharper overall. Uh, we've, we're really working to make sure that uh, the combat feels very active and responsive. 